commitment changes. As long as we hold to Jesus' nails come here, we turn it loose. Praise God. We let it go. But who in the world wants to let it go? Who wants to let the Lord Jesus Christ go? The song says, take this whole world and give me Jesus. Time to close with you. Have you had that event take place in your life? Have you truly repented of your sins? You've been sorrowful for what you've done. You've asked God to come into your heart and life, and there's been an event take place, or have you just have you said a little prayer? Has somebody just led you in a prayer? Praise God. I'm glad that night appeared in that little mobile home. I never been to church two times in my life a lot of time. One to a funeral and one to a promotion. I didn't know how to pray. When they asked me, was I Christian? I said, no, I wasn't a Christian. I didn't know how to pray. But I turned around and I got down on my knees and I began to pray. And as I began to pray there, I you know I didn't know I was start feeling the Lord. You know, I guess I just, I don't really remember all that. I guess I just named and all stuff. And I said, Lord, I'm, I'm just, I'm sorry I've done this. I'm sorry I've done that. And I had a big list. I wasn't a choir boy, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I, I, I wouldn't uh, uh, a murder either. But yet I wasn't a choir boy. I a lot of bad things. Just sinner. I was just a sinner. But you know, all at once, there's something in my life that I never ever experienced before. I never ever experienced before. There's something in my life. God, you saw them begin to work in my heart. I begin to feel wrongness. When the man of God preached, and I begin to think, I begin to feel, I said, Lord, oh, help me, Lord. Help me, Jesus. And the Lord, praise God, came down. And he came down. He lifted that old burden of sin. I didn't hear thunder. And I didn't see light. I didn't see a big bright light. My mom asked me, she said, did you see the light? She said, now, when I got saved, and when you get saved, she said, you don't see the prettiest, brightest light that you ever saw. I said, no, I didn't see no light. And it might not have it. But I know that, I know that something happened. I didn't, like I said, I didn't see a bright light, didn't hear the thunder, didn't see lightning or anything like that. But I was so happy. I was so happy inside. And I'm going to tell you what, I believe, I felt like I could just jump up like that and fly through the sea. I felt so light. And I didn't understand what that was for several day, days later, Sister Linda. And then I realized what it was. It was that burden of sin had been lifted off the land. There was people there I'd never seen before in my life. Didn't know them from Adam. And I was hugging their necks. And they felt like my family. And that is another scripture. I didn't know it was in the Bible. But you know, he says, how do you know? How do we know that we pass from death unto life, die out of sin, and come alive in God? It's because we love the brother. He puts a love in your heart. If you pray, you say you're Christian, and you don't love your brother or sister, praise God, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. True, maybe true repentance ain't really happened in your life. Because when you get true repentance there, then love will come in your heart. Praise God. That, but it, it, it changes you. I was gambling. I was drinking. I was doing all those things. That very day, before I came into that prayer meeting that night, and the next morning when I went back in that place, and I know I bore y'all out with this story, but I feel like repeating it again before I close. When I went right back down amongst them four or five alcoholics that drank every day, every day, it was an everyday thing that we've been doing for about a year, and rolling them ties. I didn't walk in that back room and go back there 
and drink that whiskey and take my little six ounce coat chaser. And they asked him, he come back up there and asked him, and he said, are you sick? Is something wrong? And I said, I'm not sick. I got saved last night. I got born to eat. And I don't drink that no more. And I'm not for 35 years. I'm not drinking. So when they go right on, they come and pray, they go on back out, and go on the drinking, cussing, carry on. But I want to tell you, when true repentance comes into your eyes, when God, you really, God is so real works, and you really repent, and you really get born again, your mind will change. Totally, totally, totally. It will change. And my life changed, and what did it do? It changed for me. It changed for the good. It changed for the good. And I thank God for that. And I said, no, I don't do that. I got saved. So, I went on, running the station, and working with them guys for, uh, uh, for a little while, and I was very uncomfortable. Because every day they were drinking this again. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, drink some, yell some with us at all. And I said, no. Then they got to make it fun of me. Found out what I was going. I was going, what they call then, over to a holy room church. But I want you to know, I was a holy room. So the daddy was there that night. He's the one, he's the one that asked him to make it out when it comes to the Holy Ghost. He showed me that he was Chet Woods. I'll never forget Chet. I'll never forget that. Oh, Chet was our youth. You just say, Jesus keeps that quaking and shaking. I made him on fire. We need some old Chet Woods around to we'll get that one. But they said, you won't stick for the Holy Ghost. I was like that group of people that was in the hall. Oh, I want to quit, but it's hard to quit. I was like that group of people that called that, that day. They said, have you received since you believe? They said, we haven't even heard there be any Holy Ghost. I was the same ones. I never heard that. I thought when you got saved, that was it. But I found out then. I said, well, I guess so. And later when I hit that altar, it went in five minutes. I am one five minutes. They wasn't down there rubbing my head. They wasn't down there teaching me all kinds of signs and language. Tie my tie. Coca Cola, Coca Cola, Jim, 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 and all of that. But he came from heaven, hallelujah. He came from heaven. And he ain't been no devil and nobody to ever do me to this. Ever to this. He didn't come from man. He didn't come from heaven, friend. That change had not done. It never came from man. It came from heaven above. And why I got this night, that night on that altar, and when, I, when, he, came, when he came, when he fell, I fell. I went out. All the time, I know, I'm rolling all that clothes and now we're under control. I was rolling that clothes. It's like a world in hot ashes. And there was a language flowing out of my mouth that I could not stop. I didn't have control of it. A lot of folks didn't have that much control of it. Oh, I'm glad I don't have what they got. I'm glad I've got what God gave me. He's still there. And he controls me. I don't turn him on when I want to. And I don't turn him off. I might go for a long time before he begins to speak out. But then maybe just one time, pray for somebody in the prayer line. And he steps over. And he starts going. That time, the devil says, he ain't there no more. He's gone, praise God. But all the ones, brother Peter, you feel him, praise God. Here he comes. Hallelujah. He's always on time. Oh, praise God. Friends, I want to tell you something tonight. Glory to God. It is a great, great life to serve God. Amen. When you truly repent, when you try to straddle obedience, and you try to live for the Lord and live for that world, it is a miserable life. But when you truly repent, really get born again, Turn your life over to Jesus Christ and really get the real good. Friends, I want to tell you what, there is nothing like it. Nothing like it. Greatest thing I've ever found. Greatest thing I've ever found. I've enjoyed this life. What these days, you know, ain't going to be too much longer. I'm